I thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of a reading vlog this week. I am at lunch at work, so you can see I got my book out and my sushi. I do have edamame over here, coke just to try to get through the day because I am tired for some reason. Maybe my toddler's 5.30 a.m. wake ups. I am um, about halfway through uh, House of Salt and Sorrow. I'm loving it. I honestly like did not even want to go to work today because I wanted to stay home and read so bad. Um, so I probably will finish this tonight. And I don't know what I have next. I tried Never Night and I could not get into it. So I don't know if I need to try it again today and give it another chance. Because uh, so many people love that series. But if not, I probably will start either Ninth House or The Beautiful. Because I do have both of those to start as well. I'm actually trying to kind of start annotating too. Um, I did buy some better stickies today. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I'm going to start reading. So I finished House of Salt and Sorrow. And I want to say like, I'm going to give it like, it, I mean, it was it was really good. I would say like 4.5 stars. So like on Goodread, I'm probably going to give it 5 stars and so, instead of downgrading to 4. Um, the only like drawback I had to the whole thing was there was kind of some insta-love. Like if there was one point where he said, you're my world. And she's like, you're my world. And I was like, barf. Um, but other than that, I thought it was super good. Like on Saturday, we're going to go to my hometown because they're going to have a tri wizard tournament situation um so i had to get us some halloween costumes to participate um so i went to target and the first thing i found i got this broom um so the broom i mean it's plastic and it was like 15 dollars, 20 dollars, but it's got some cool detailing to it um and my son loves it, so I got that, and then I got a cape robe for him. They all just have the Harry Potter house crest on it, with all four, instead of being specifically for your house. It might, this is the small, so it might be a little bit big, but I figured I could pin up the bottom. And then for me, I just got this, um... It was 25 so let's open it up and see what we think. Oh, it's, I mean, it's pretty much the same quality as the kids one, but it's better than I thought it would be. So I'm excited for it. It's pretty long. I'll uh, pop in a picture of me wearing it so you can see. Um, and then... I had gotten a few days ago Harmonia's wand. It's very plastic and I think it was like five dollars but for my son playing with it and then like just taking to some random cosplay thing obviously I don't really care. Um, I also did get Harry's wand so it's the same quality a little thicker um, but yeah it was five dollars. So I'm excited I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, there's for sure, like a Quidditch tournament, and then um, they have a scavenger hunt. They said they have some potions classes and care magical creatures. So I'm excited to see how that all turns out. Um, so I'm sure I will take you with me on Saturday just because it's going to be a lot of fun. But I think I'm going to start... Where did I put my books? Oh, here we go. Um, I brought down two. I brought down The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. And then she was gone. They are both on my TBR for October. So I'm going to get back to something that's actually on my TBR for October. Um, Regan from the from Peru's Project just finished this in her last vlog. And it was and she loved it. And I think she finished it in like a day or two total. Um, I think it's one of those you either really like them or you don't. So I'm going to have to figure that if, which side of the board I'm at. But so I think I might start this one first. Um... And then do this one next to get back on track with my actual TBR for the month. So anyway, I'm going to head off and read. I've got uh, some homemade apple crisps and 
some wine. So I am ready to read. So it is Wednesday. And I got some book mail today, so I thought I would open it up in front of you guys. Um, just a quick Amazon haul. So the first thing I got was these little tabs. There's a couple of girls at BookTube that annotate and really like these tabs. So I kind of wanted to start doing that and figure that out. Um, I can link their videos below so you can see what that's all about. But I think I got, there's like six packs of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors in each pack. And I think it was it was five or six dollars. So pretty good deal. I can link it below. The second thing that I got that I was super excited about is um, City of Ghosts. So obviously with it being more of a spooky month, this has been coming up a lot. And it was on sale on Amazon for five something. So I decided to pick up um, this one and then I'll move into the second one if I like it. I do know that that one's still I think only in hardcover. So I have to decide if I want mismatch books um, in the series or if I want to wait. But So I'm excited to get this. I don't know if it's going to fit into October. But it would be fun and I've heard really good things. I think people really like it and even maybe like the second one more. So I'm excited to get into this one. So I, I'm going to cook dinner, do all my normal night stuff and then hopefully I'll be able to get more into um, the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle today because I only got through like the first chapter so I feel like there's, I'm just nowhere near knowing if I'm going to like it or not. Not good lighting, but um, I'm all clean from the bath. I have my rosehip oil, which is very uh, shiny on my skin, but it helps a lot. Um, I am enjoying the Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle right now. Um, I'm, let's see, 78 pages in. Um, essentially, if, if Evelyn <laughs> dies, I haven't um, gotten to that part yet. I'm assuming that at some point she dies and you have to solve it um but I could be completely wrong because I'm only 78 pitches in right now he's been in the bodies of two people and just got into his third and was just told that he would inhabit eight people so I'm excited to see where it goes um there's already some quotes that I've annotated because I thought they were just well written and really interesting so I, I definitely am excited to see where this goes and get into it more so I figured I'm gonna finish watching some YouTube and then read until I can't read no more. So vlogging didn't end up going very well <laughs> this last couple days. Um, yesterday I ended up just watching Survivor because I was a couple episodes behind so that was fun but then today I woke up and I feel like crap. My throat hurts really bad. Um, it's been super stressful at work the last couple days. So instead of running the 5K, I'm just wearing the shirt and pretending that I did. Um, and I've already taken night call. It's 7.30. I'm already in bed for the night. Um, I am getting close to halfway through the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. And I swear to you... That, like, I'm enjoying it, but I just want to rush. Because, like, I need to know the ending. And I hate when I do that. And I do it with pretty much any, like, murder mystery kind of a thing. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. It's good. I definitely have no idea what is actually going on. Who is doing what. And and it is, it's a lot of people to keep apart. Um, but the writing is so good and when this guy goes into his host bodies he actually has to take on or kind of fight against the host body's actual personality so that has been really cool um like one is this horrible guy who like is awful to women and drinks too much and parties too much and is just a horrible human being but then Aiden Bishop, our main character, is inside of him and has to fight against um, who he is 
like his personality kind of comes out and does things. So he has to fight against this other guy's aggression. And it's just really interesting. So I'm really enjoying this. That being said, I just really want to go through it because I really want to know what happens and I really want to know who is the murderer and how everything weaves together because there's a lot of characters that you're like, are you good? Are you bad? How am I supposed to be feeling about you? So, very good. Um, I forgot to bring it in my room, but I did get the second um, book in the murder trending series. I think it's called Murder Funding. Hashtag Murder Funding. So I probably will hop into that after this since that one's a library book. And then the other accomplishment I did for there tonight is I made my list for believe -a So I'm going to film um, a video about the believe -a read-along um, and then my books for that one. So if you haven't heard of that and are looking for a November read -a -thon, that one I would totally suggest because I'm I'm actually super excited about it. So on that note, I am going to go read until I fall asleep from my night quill coma. And man, I hope I wake up better because I'm really excited for this Harry Potter event um, in my hometown tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to seeing what that's all about. I hope it lives up to the hype I have for it, but... So that's where I'm at, so see you tomorrow. Peace out. Shall we? Harry stepped up to the stone basin and bowed obediently until his face sank through the surface of the memory. So today we are in Park Rapids and we're doing a tri-wizard scavenger hunt. So we have to go to places around town and try to figure out what's going on. First, we're gonna stop and get a chocolate frog. A great time at the Harry Potter thing. It was really fun. Um, my stepmom and I had a really good time doing the scavenger hunt. You just kind of got to find all the magical things at all the stores in town and get to see all the stores. And then, oh, we did an NEW TOWL test, and that was fun. Um, she really did it just for me because I'm obviously the Harry Potter fanatic, but. Um, it was a really good time and a great way to end the weekend. Just a beautiful drive. The leaves had all changed, so it was a perfect time to go. Oh. But I still feel like poop. And I'm exhausted. So I'm going to catch up on some YouTube from the day and go to bed. I didn't really... I didn't read very much of Evelyn, but... I did get a um, couple hours in of Harry Potter. The problem I'm having, too, is that I'm listening through it on Spotify because it's an MP3 file on my Google Pixel, and I don't know how to speed it up, so it's just hard because I have to listen to it at normal reading pace, which is just not my norm. But I'm probably halfway through that. So, because it's... I got So I got about three more hours of that in today, so that's good. So... Fairly good reading day, lots of Harry Potter day, and that's always a good day. So I'm off to sleep. Have a good night.